This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we are teaching and having class at the Maritime Museum in West Sable. Uh, we have a series of five classes. A lot of my students, in fact most of them, are first-time painters. They've always had the interest in painting in watercolor and they've always thought it was difficult. Oh, you put something down, it's on paper, you can't fix it. Well, you can. You can see the water. Don't be afraid to have the water and try to control where this is going. If you learn to work with the water and let it move, instead of trying to control it, you will have some beautiful textures and nice washes and find that it's not so hard to do. Now, is there something here you don't like? Here. Okay. Not until the last, oh, I would say five years have I been devoting my time slowly to painting. I love it so much, people have always asked me about it, so I started, you know, giving workshops. This is something where we will learn different textures, how to paint on something, how to lift out, how you can paint and not have to draw everything on this picture. I also belong to the Patchog Bay Power Squadron. The director of the Maritime Museum, Terry Blackman, she came and gave a short speech and presentation about what the Maritime Museum is all about, what they do, their activities, classes, summer camps, and so very interesting. So I had emailed her and said, would you be interested in holding us watercolor classes? And she said, you must have ESP. I've been wanting to do this. I like the idea of being creative, and in my life there have been times when my work was creative, but it hasn't been all so much in a, in a long time. And I thought this would be something I could do that wouldn't be strenuous, <laughs> might be fun. I, I like the idea of watercolor. It's always just soft. It strikes me as being sort of a, not a pretty and gentle, and I don't know, I find that appealing. It's a pleasant diversion, and the, the people in the class are good-humored and fun to be with, so it's a positive thing to do. I am a retired physical education teacher, and I supervise student teachers for Adelphi. And then when Terry called me about taking classes here, I said, good idea. Perfect practice makes perfect performance. In phys ed, I mean, I painted the wall. You know, um, for 9-11, we did all the students' hands. So, you know, I helped the art teacher who had been a former student of mine do the lettering. And when I was a cheerleader, we used to paint signs. But uh, yeah, I, you know, I like being artistic and so forth. So it's not like the bricks. Even though it's step by step, Victoria will tell us, now we'll paint this. Everybody uses the colors that they want to use and combinations. So every seven of us can come out with seven different paintings. They come and help you, you know, they correct you. So it's stop and praise and stop and correct, which is good. I can put in some tree-like bushes and I'm going to get a soft edge. It's very relaxing. It takes you away from, for an hour, two hours, however long you want to paint, it, but it takes you away from everyday life. You're quiet, you can listen to some background music, but you're in your own space and you're trying different things and the time flies when I paint. Mm -hmm. 